Nina and my best friend Jordan and I have been traveling all over Europe and spent four days in the Amalfi Coast. Here's the first one and a half days of it. The half is because it took 12 hours to travel there and the rest is us eating local Italian food, trying to make Italian food, and enjoying the beach in the rain. Hope you enjoy. Our plan was to spend the next four days traveling around the Amalfi Coast. To get there from the Italian Riviera, we would need to travel over 350 miles and take 11 hours worth of train. Fortunately, our trip was broken up with a layover in Rome to stretch our legs and grab some lunch. Not what I would expect from Rome, but I think this is one of the nicest train stations we've been to on this trip. The shadow side of this was that they make you pay to use the bathroom. Well, looks like you're having to hold it. <laughs> What do you think of the kiss and ride, Nate? They're showing someone like giving goodbye. That's probably when they get their kiss. It shouldn't be that surprising that we ended up at McDonald's since Nina confessed her love in France. Burger King, Carl Jr., Del Taco. Hold on, McDonald's is about that. I enjoy a good McDonald's because... <laughs> The fast food chain is definitely growing on me with their Parmesan cheese sticks, free restrooms, game tables, and their world famous Happy Meal toys. Maybe it's build your own minion? Is there like like Mr. Potato Head? He can be Italian Batman's friend? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> oh, number one maybe. But before we knew it, we needed to catch our next train. We were thinking about going to Pisa today, but then we were talking about it at a train station last night, and one girl was like, don't go. It's Whatever so not worth it. Pisa is terrible, so we didn't go to Pisa. We've also been trying to master this meme face, so y'all can let us know who did it best down in the comments. From here, we had one more train to Salerno, where we would then hop on a bus to take us just outside of Amalfi to the town where we were staying in called Mallorca. Alright, let me get us started. Since this was going to be our longest stay at any one place during the trip, we decided to pick a good spot. Here we had two separate bedrooms, a full kitchen, and laundry. No more smelling like a stinky booty. With the little daylight we had left, we wanted to get out and explore the town. Just got to Maori. We're quickly falling in love with the tiny beach town and have already mandated even walk along the beach for every night that we are here. It's gonna be a good four days. Too tired to cook, we figured it was only a matter of time before we got some real Italian pizza. We made friends with the local shop owner, Lucia. Ciao. 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 Tina just had to get these little chicken wings. I need meat. They're delicious. And right behind Nina, we have our gelato shop that looks like a strip club. No, how much were the pizzas? Oh, they're $5 each. We're never going to mod pizza again. To get the full experience, we wanted to end the night by eating dinner on the beach. You might have been wondering why Nina didn't get a pizza. Well, for those of you that don't know yet, Nina doesn't like cheese. I'm going to try to eat the cheese on this pizza because that's how it's supposed to be eaten. Wow. not that much. You're a big girl. I know. It was pretty magical to be able to watch the entire coastline light up after dark. If it wasn't obvious already, we were pretty excited for the next few days in Amalfi. The next day, we woke up to some bad news. We had rain forecasted for the entire day. With little choice, we had to push back some of our excursions that we had planned. We could only hope for better weather. But as the day went on, so did the rain. It felt like the odds of the rain stopping were 99 to 1. Pretty similar to the percentage of you guys watching this video that are subscribed. While you're watching us wait for the rain to stop, you might as well take a moment to go ahead and click that subscribe button. Have you clicked it yet? While we were waiting for you to subscribe, we decided that we had had enough of sitting in our room. So we threw on some rain jackets and grabbed an umbrella. There was no way we were gonna let some bad weather ruin our beach vacation. Since it was raining, the beach and all the lounges were completely empty. Wow, what a beach day, huh? There's so many people here. Our only problem was that we couldn't figure out how to open any of these umbrellas to save our lives. Devastated by our defeat, Jordan decided to console himself with another one of Lucia's pizzas. It's not even, it hasn't even been a day. I'm getting multiple pizzas a day. <laughs> 100%. Shortly after we gave up, a local informed us that the lounges cost money. Did we get kicked from our spot? Yes, we did. They said, this is not a free beach. So we were like, oh, sorry. We didn't know. And now we're back to our bamboo mat from the other day. But this is free. Do you think these pigeons are free? Dude, that's like a red one. How many red pigeons have you seen? Drone is doing basically all the work for you. And it's like we're watching TV. <laughs> what we can see in front of us. Here you can see the beautiful Castello Mezzacapo, which is still lived in today as a hotel. Maori, as the name implies, is the major town of the coast, especially in contrast to its smaller neighbor, Maori. Maori is known for having the largest open beach of the whole coast. 
The only downside is that it's not as picturesque as some of the other towns due to its more modern infrastructure. Even still, you would have to lie to yourself to deny the beauty of this lesser known Italian town. Whenever I get to fly, I can't help but think about how profound having a bird's eye view is. I found that in life if you're able to see the bigger picture, you'll realize that all of your problems seem small in comparison. I think that's why I like to skip rocks. It makes me realize that I don't always need to find the perfect stone or throw it in just the right way for it to go far. Sometimes I just need to keep trying and eventually I'll do better and go farther. With the rain picking up again, we retreated to find some shelter with hopes of waiting it out. Okay buff boy. Jay got a new drone, right? It's small. It's flexible, agile, and I think he made the right decision. Jordan uh, approves this message. Sponsored by DJI, Patrick Star approves. <laughs> but the rain wouldn't stop, so we turned in to make one of our first home cooked meals of the trip. These, I'm told, are clams, and I'm cracking them. I thought they were mussels, Jordan. I told her they were clams. <laughs> Jordan was adamant about making his favorite dish, seafood pasta. The second half of this year of trip, we have had way more Airbnbs than we did at the first half. So we've made a lot more dinners and we're trying to get creative. At first it was just stir fry every night. But now that we're in Italy, we made some gnocchi with truffle sauce and mussels and clams. Our lemon soda and our seafood pasta. What were your thoughts on the meal, Jordan? Tough dinner. <laughs> <laughs> seafood pasta was my favorite dish, and it might be my least favorite now. It's the worst meal I've ever had. It started so strong. I was like, oh yeah, it's pretty good, but it could use a little. And it ended with a, I might throw up now. <laughs> you can use first. Yeah, yeah, man. Let's try to be respectful. You can eat it out of the trash if you want. I'm betting I get diarrhea. And if she does, she buys this crazy. Dinner was so bad that we're going out to get gelato or a crepe or something to cleanse our palate, but it's pouring rain, so we're not thinking anything's open. Jay took my umbrella. It's been raining the entire day, so I don't know why the boys didn't think it'd be raining right now, but I was the only one that brought a rain jacket and umbrella. As we had feared, the weather caused all of the shops to close early, and there was no sweet treats to override our traumatizing dinner. Look a little wet there, bud. This is the color of my shirt. This is now the color of my shirt. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to help us recover from Jordan's seafood pasta. We hope to see you next week as we walk along the cliffs edge of the legendary Path of the Gods hike.